hello guys welcome to another video and this video is going to be about one of the very popular tool called as bob suite in fact this is one of my favorite tool as well so i'm going to guide you through how to install bob suite how to get started with the bob suite how to configure bob suite in fact i'm also going to show you or tell you about some of the different features of the bob suite so keep watching till the end uh, to get the overall ideas and this is going to be a series basically so in future we are also planning to you know bring out you some of the content regarding how to use a uh, bob suite tricks and trip including some of these uh, bob extension as well so stay tuned do subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel and let me know in the comment box how you feel about the content that i post daily okay so let's get started so first thing first, so you can download this Bob Suite from this website or the official website portswigger.net. Do not download from some of the third party website because this is typically a jar file and I have seen some people actually sending some of the malware using this Bob Suite also by claiming that Bob Suite uh, cracked version or something like that, right? So Larry Lou. I don't want to talk about that, but yes, do not download from third party website. Use this official website and in fact, Bob Suite had different editions like they have community editions and they have enterprise edition they have professional edition of course uh, professional edition has different feature enterprise edition has like different user feature and all those things which you do not want to um, talk about because we are not going to uh, maybe yeah, in future i will talk about this uh, community edition as well as inter enterprise edition because i've been having the privilege to work with all these uh, different editions of op suite but for a general user point of view, we are going to look at the community edition. And right now, I believe this is the upgrade from Bob Suite that they have changed the color for different edition of Bob Suite. So for community edition, you will get something like this uh, bluish kind of color, right? So you can download this latest version. Uh, you can download from yeah, following this link. Okay, you can go for community edition and this thing. Okay, if you are having uh, having whichever OS like it support Windows, it support Linux. It suppose as in jar file as well so i have seen bob suite growing from a 7 or 10 mb kind of file back in 2013 or 11 even yeah 10 i believe i have used that so uh, 10 year back it used to be a really small jar file with some very small feature but right now uh, it has grown up to some mbs of file i also get a question from a lot of people like how do we upgrade our bob suite in kali linux yeah that's a really nice question and in fact i have post a uh, post on my youtube community channel let me bring out that for you so if you are interested to know right from where actually you can uh, you know get a code or the commands to update your bob suite in your uh, kali linux then you can basically use this particular commands okay so first download the jar file navigate to this path and rename the bob suite with bob suite old and uh, run this particular command basically so mb bob suite with bob suite underscore old now copy the jar file wherever you have downloaded usually in the downloads path and then move your bob suite dot jar to bob suite file and then provide the permission once it is done then you can actually good to get started so after that if you run this bob suite command this is how the interface you are going to see so let's just go ahead with whichever version i am having right now i can go ahead and create a temporary project okay so in the pro version you will see something like new project on disk where you have to provide the name and path so why this is helpful uh, this is really helpful because if consider I'm working on a project or let's say an application and uh, I want to save that application state in my local so that at later point of time, let's say after one or two days, I come back, I want to resume from the same place or the same point where I have left the application testing. So that is where this uh, new project or even open existing project will be helpful. Okay, but it is not provided with community edition. Uh, whenever we are going for this Bob Suite Pro demo, probably that time I will talk about that in depth. Okay. Now you could also see this pause automation task. This is really important with the Bob Suite Pro, but we will talk about that sometime later. Now, Bob details, uh, sorry, default has also this different configuration that you can save or in, you can import basically. So, this is the interface that usually you can use but yeah, you can also go for this i have saved one of the previous configuration but let's just use this uh, bob default so that you get some uh, great idea you have also options to disable extensions yeah probably not that useful but let's just get started okay if you would see that again the jar file because that's why you are having this java options command okay 
now uh, in the windows system you need to have a gre uh, otherwise i think it's the same process that you have to follow you will have this burp.exe and that is what you can download uh, from here by selecting this windows this will give you the exe file and then you have to install it and get started in fact it has also the jar file so uh, jar are mostly platform independent so you can download the jar file also and you do not have to install just double click and get started okay now once you open bob suite this is how the interface you are going to see and uh, you'll have this bob configuration details which we saw slight bit later bob project option of course in the pro version only they have clearly specified that you can import intruder uh, you can load a configuration in the pro version only or save configuration or uh, tech configuration basically but in free version you are allowed to use this intruder okay also the repeater which is one of the great feature and most important part in bob suite uh, that is also you are allowed to use in this uh, particular community edition then you have detach dashboard detach proxy and all those things whichever things you uh, typically that you do not want you can detach that okay and finally this uh, help section now let's just go ahead and quickly configure our bob suite with our firefox browser i usually prefer firefox browser uh, do not uh, prefer chrome browser because chrome uses ie proxy and uh, when we are talking about IE proxy, it's basically the system proxy. Now, there are two ways to configure the proxy. You can go to this options and preferences and type proxy and settings. You can network settings. You can see that manually proxy configuration. So you can set the IP address to localhost or 127.0.0.1 and port 8088 or even any particular port that you want. Now, what you are doing basically is you are setting a bob suite in between your internet and the browser okay so whatever request that goes from the browser first will come to the bob suite that is where we have provided the local host and port and the same port and same ip address and then it will go to the uh, next step or once you click on forward through bob suite which you will see a bit later that will it then it will go to the server okay so let's just go ahead with this configuration you can click on okay so this is one of the uh, method that i told you like you can go for this proxy setting and also you can go for this like proxy proxy extension so what this does basically is let me open yeah so if you use this extension uh, you don't have to go to this uh, preferences again and again you just have to use this extension and uh, click on bob suite and then it will be changing the proxy basically to whatever configuration that i am using like i'm using the same port and the local host ip address of course you can provide the color also and name right now please note there are some of the section where you have to do the platform authentication other thing which we talk a bit later part of this bob suite videos okay so do subscribe to the channel for getting upcoming videos and other thing so let's just go ahead and leave it like this okay i'm not using the proxy setup but i'm using this configuration one uh, from the preferences so i'm going to say okay and finally let's just go to our bob suite proxy tab now dashboard is where you get to see all those information uh, that bob suite is basically doing so you could see that proxy server started on 8088 but remember we have set our proxy configuration from here to 8088 port so we need to align with that so to do that we can go to this proxy and go to this option and change the port to 8088 okay and because that we are using the same port so uh, it will now listen to all those communication that is happening via this particular IP and this port. Okay, so local host and port. Once all those things are done, uh, all you need to do is go to here and type 127.0.0.1 and 8088. Okay, there is a call. So let's get back to the same point. Yeah, so you can type 8088 to whichever port that you have basically provided, and once you type that, you will see something like this uh, Welcome to Bob Suite Community Edition. Now, right on the right side, you will see the CA certificate. So you need to click on the CA certificate and save it. Why we are doing? Because we need to fed our browser the certificate that has been provided by our Bob Suite, right? So you need to click on save it. Go to the again preference. Okay, type proxy. Okay, this time around we don't need to type. We have to type certificate. Okay, so view certificate, and we need to import the certificate that we just downloaded. Usually most of the time people make this mistake like they do not uh, import the certificate and they forgot to import the certificate basically and end up uh, causing a lot of issue like they don't intercept properly. This is one of the trick that nobody tells you. You need to have the certificate loaded to your browser properly. 
okay so once you have this certificate imported you could see that do you want to trust port swigger ca you can say okay okay and you are done okay so right now if you see the certificate it will show you port swigger name somewhere let me just go to yeah uh, let me search pqrs yeah you could see that port swigger name right so this means uh, it will trust port swigger two thing the first thing is uh, you could see that i have typed uh, cert earlier that's why it has captured that also which you do not want to you can drop a packet which you do not want to forward to internet by clicking on this drop and uh, whichever you want to forward you can click on forward once you are done that you can go to this uh, website and uh, sorry your browser and type google.com now you could see that web suite has automatically captured the request uh, that is going from my browser and it could also you could also see that there is some highlight right intercept and proxy so this means that uh, bob suite is actually able to uh, capture the request from the browser and once you click on forward that will be forwarded to the server if i click on forward right this is what happened now let's say i'm loading some of the bank website okay so let's say www.sdfc.com i hope there is a website name sdfc.com all right so let's give it some time to load uh, even we can type yeah so you could see that it has also loaded um sdfc website right so if you click on here and uh, yeah you could see there are some google traffic that is also going through right and uh, let's go on click on apply loan okay let's hope that they don't capture all this request so you can so you might notice that there are mostly some of the unwanted request come in between so there are two way you can handle that either you can go for right click and do not intercept this request from this host that means uh, boss suite will not intercept any request from this particular host which our host you see here right on dot uh, google apis dot com it doesn't mean that it is dropping all the packet it simply means that it is just not going to intercept the request from this particular host and it is going to forward you can also see the configuration uh, in the options section where you could see that intercept the client request based on the rules right this is one of the important part so on the based on the rules there is something called as uh, target scoping which i'll be talking about slide bit later okay let me just go ahead and talk about the right away so you can go to this target section site map and right click and say add to scope so this means google.com is in our scope okay for whichever scope that you wanted to uh, capture by bob suite that you can uh, mention over here and also you could see that intercept client request intercept server response also this means before sending the response to the browser we could also uh, capture the same uh, from this intercept server response uh, option right we'll use that slide bit later but let's just focus on the normal uh, behavior so let me just go ahead and take you to one of the simple website to so you some of the really simple operation now let's say i'm using demo.testfire.net okay it's an ibm uh, testing website right so you could see that uh, demo.testfire.com has uh, sorry, .net has loaded and you would see that user id and password field now you can click on intercept on because i wanted to see what is the user id and password that i am going be basically passing through so let me say i am typing admin admin so you could see that the uid admin password admin both are been captured in the bob suite okay so that's one of the really uh, cool feature like using bob suite you can capture all those communication okay to make it better visibility let me just go ahead to the user section and click on this display you can change the font and all those detail from here so let's say i'm using yeah this particular one and i'm using 15 okay so this means the font will change slight bit uh, the next time the bob suite start right so you could see that uh, our font has increased basically to give you clear view you could also make it bold and all those things wherever you want change the font and yeah there are multiple design so right let's just kick ahead one of them i'll say 20 okay so you could see that user password clearly visible now now if i click on forward then this will basically go to the server and perform the validation and now the next request the browser is trying to send is bank main.gsp so you click on forward and this will basically load the main page right the same url okay so i hope you would have got some knowledge out of this video this video is going to be completely lengthy one because i can talk for hours on bob suite okay 
it could basically take um, uh, this particular series will be really big big one so you can uh, just uh, take this as a beginner video or as a part one video because there are multiple videos i'm going to make about bow suite i am also going to talk about different tips and tricks so like in this particular video you would have got some tricks and tricks right so do watch all those videos uh, related to bow suite if you are going to follow my channel if you have not then click the subscribe button do hit like and share this video to let everybody knows about a uh, different um, content that i post every day on information security thanks for watching have a great day see you soon with another video on bob suite